and we're back for more. It's your boy Killerfreak777 here and today we're going to be talking about WD Gaster. And I know some of you might be asking, who is Gaster and how is he related to the law of Deltarune? Well according to the Undertale wiki, WD Gaster was the royal scientist before Alphys and he was responsible for creating the core which powers the castle of Undertale. Gaster's followers have different explanations as to what really happened to him. Some say that he fell into his own creation, another says that his experiments went wrong, and the last says that he shattered across space and time. Who knows, maybe he shattered across space and time to another timeline, like Deltarune, which Toby Fox himself confirmed was an alternate universe from Undertale. Characters such as the River Person and Gaster's followers hint at his existence in the original Undertale game. There were also messages left in the True Lab in Undertale written in Wing Ding's font. The only two characters to talk in-game with different fonts are Sans and Papyrus. Due to this reason, many people tend to believe that Gaster himself is a skeleton and that these three are highly connected. Although he never makes an official appearance in both games, there are several hints to his existence within Deltarune. First of all, after you obtain the cell phone in Deltarune and you try to use it, you would hear a theme similar to Gaster's from Undertale, to which Chris, the player, then says the phone doesn't work. Secondly, when reaching the surface, after escaping the Dark World, if you go all the way down, you will find a locked door, and if you listen near the door, the team of Gaster can be heard again. He's definitely in there, but we'll have to wait for the full game's release to see if we can unlock the door and finally face him. The final point deals with your boy Jevil, the secret boss of Deltarune. If you defeat him, then speak to the cat merchant, it is revealed that Jevil was the court jester and the merchant the court magician. One day, Jevil changed after meeting a certain someone. After that, he began seeing the world as a game and everyone else as players. Now, who could possibly have such an influence on the court jester, especially someone as powerful as Jevil? The magician then said after speaking to Jevil that his views changed as well and his views of the world became darker yet darker. The phrase darker yet darker is yet another reference to Gaster from one of his journal entries in the original game, which when translated from Wing Dings reads, Entry number 17, dark, darker yet darker, the darkness keeps growing, the shadows cutting deeper, photon readings negative, this next experiment seems very, very interesting, what do you two think? The merchant then says that Jevil was just a taste of what's yet to come and that the world will near its end in the not so distant future. Now, are these just the ramblings of a crazy stuffed animal or is it a warning for the true evil we've yet to face? Please, 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 please.